Move me around first. Me off as run. Me, me off as sprint. And we don't stop. You can't catch up. You can't catch us. Let me tell you. Tell me why. I tell you why we run. We run from the chase. We run from being stalked. I got capes all around me. They got me surrounded. And, and I'm just trying to live my life. Lady won't stay away from me. Let, let me. Let me show you how to make some bunny bump in me, okay? Ten, this is my phone. Alright? Now, if you're looking into your phone and you're watching the people walking behind you, you can watch them, you can see in their phone, and you know. You know when that person's gonna look away. And when they do, that's when you make your move. You stop and you let that person run in you. There you go, they just bumped you. Do you get to pepper spray them? Do you get to use other means of self-defense? I don't know. I've tried asking the cop once, couldn't get an answer. Wrong thing, hold up. Yeah, where did it go? Where did it go? Yeah. Stupid moth. There's a moth. Do I need to find it like this? I find it with my back turned. You know we don't stand with the moth. Stop it with the trifold, the indestructible trifold. When the cop pulls you over, yeah. Would you just hand him all your stuff, all tape it all together, make it like a homemade laminate, laminate, and you tape all your cards together. Do you throw your ID in there too? You know, make sure you. Get it down real good and tight so you can ruin them real good. And, and that way, when one of them expires, you got to peel that bitch open, you mess up all your cards, you just got to take them all in and try and get them all replaced. Those, that ain't your property to do with what you will to destroy it like this. You know, you, you might get another ticket. But that's, that's the job of chilies. That, that's my job. I go out, I make copycats. I get people to record the DMV. Why, why let, why, why let people rob themselves and go to the DMV? You can come get my indestructible trifold. You can come get our fake ID. Or, I'm sorry. I met our travel ID card. You get the travel ID card. Don't don't try to go to an airport though. Or or do. But when when you do, just just be expecting them to put the torture cuffs on you. But that's all good. It's all good. It's all crazy. Cause then see, then you can make a lawsuit. Yeah. Cause that I mean that's really what you really would want. You want the cops to get involved. You want to be able to record them. That's what it's all about, clout chasing, right? Selling out the country for clout. Hey, you get all the attention on you, and they all get a lay of the land to see where everything is every, everywhere and a possible head count and, and any time. Because, you know, I could, I could get these people to go back to each and every place. They go and, and audit. We'll call it auditing, okay? That's what, that's what we'll have these people do. Nope. And, uh, like, if you're in your car and you can start speeding, having somebody else's license plate on there, or even a, put a pizza box on there, oh, just say you're traveling, and speed to really get their intention in case they're not behind you, you know? I mean, they might be on the other side of the road. They won't see your life support. So, hey, kick, a, kick a headlight out, too, if you got it. Anything to get their attention so that they pull you over and they whip out the torch cuffs, talking about, you know, taking your ass to jail. And, uh... You get to sue them. 
Don't tell him who you are. Don't ever, ever tell him who you are. And then, and then he, when you get, when you get into any place, let's say you're going to the DMV, you go in there and you set up the shop, get your cameras all over the place. And we'll hook you up with enough subscribers to run a live stream. Go ahead and broadcast the recorders going on, and you know a lot of people. A lot of people consider their place of employment to be their home away from home. And uh, a lot of people spend more time at work than they do at home. And what little time they do spend at home, how well, most of them got to use that time to sleep. So they, they won't even be expecting it. Go in there, find out how many employees are there, you know, what cars all come back to the parking lot. Where all we can aim up all the cameras, find out where all the exits are, what doors are locked or unlocked, and if they will allow you to open any. Try and infiltrate every room you can and broadcast those corridors to the entire world so that we can see it too. Yeah, they say that the the They'd be more worried about the guy in the pink tutu with the, you know, the, the camera that you don't see. <laughs> Motherfucker, that's your viewers, okay? All sitting there with the motherfucking pink tutu. Hey, how many of you guys got a pink tutu on as you're watching this? I wouldn't judge you if you did. You can just, you can tell me. I won't even hear it. Okay, I can keep releasing anything I see. <laughs> anyway, uh, excuse me one second. One second. I, I want to get serious with something right quick, you know, because we don't stop. I want to talk about the subscribers because we don't care about the subscribers. We love the subscribers. We got to have all the subscribers, but nobody cares about subscribers. Um, can't find the chapstick. I, I, I want to talk about more about the subscribers and the community tab. Now, I know I don't have it pulled up here right now, but if you look, if you look down in the home screen for, screen for the channel, go down and, and you, you look in the middle, you scroll over and you'll see it where it says community, it's community tab, and you click on it and you click it and like, I'll have clout chasing content on there where I'll be talking up a uh, uh, debate with Blue Bacon. But, but here's the thing, you know, I'm never actually going to do it. I treat that whole situation like I do with all the dirty pigs. I hide behind the indestructible trifold. Incredible. It's incredible. Cops just let some people just get harassed all the time. It's incredible. Or maybe the cops just let it happen to certain people because certain people are involved and they just know when those people are involved, you're just supposed to let it slide. You're supposed to let it slide. You know what? Because the fish rots from the head down. Why do you think you got to ask for a supervisor or somebody that's in charge, whoever's the highest up? Because chances are they're on the same side that I'm really on. The side that the government is really on. Like, I don't want to call it like deep state type shit. But it's like that, you know. There, there's certain people higher ups in there that they don't like shit the way that it is either. And they keep me, they keep Chubby well funded. To go out and make all kinds of little copycats to lead the communities even further into poverty 
because they're all going to end up doing a bunch of community service with a bunch of empty bank accounts after they get done with all those fucking bills and the tickets and the fines and fees and the tow truck and the impound and the fucking bail money and the lawyers and probation costs and just, you know, everything all there is that goes along with it. And I think it even costs money to take a drug test anymore these days. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't really get in trouble myself. But I been in jail where had to the point of having to join a gang, but yet has no criminal history. How is that possible? I got so many questions. This is my satirical satir. Satirical chili, okay? This was my chili skit. I hope you liked it. Subscribe and stay tuned to catch me in the morning with some squirrely feedings. Because we don't stop. We don't stop loving the animals. We don't stop feeding the squirrels. You would not believe how many peanuts I bought today. You know... You know you're curious. Just click on the subscribe button. Stick around. Become a squirrely neighbor. I just thought it'd be fun to do something like this. I do have another video where I've got this on, but it's not as much of a skit like this one was. A lot of times I got tongue-tied. Let me know how I did down in the comments. You know what? It easier to talk without my ears being plugged. Anywho, yes. That's the clock. Okay. Let me know down in the comment how you think I did. I never even busted out my point in the earth that say, we don't stop. Shit. There's always something I end up forgetting. I mean, I, I got the torture cops. I got I got <laughs> the sales of Jesse's. I think we're good. You know? The water bottle. The water bottle in the community tab. Tap, 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 tap. Tap on that subscribe button down there. Tap, 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 tap. Just don't, don't tap it to where you end up unsubscribing. Please don't unsubscribe. Stick around. Become a squirrely neighbor. And we'll catch you in the morning. With, uh, brekkie. That's what I call this squirrely breakfast, okay? And then with the squail mix. It's their brekkie. This one has torts with it. But underneath there's peanuts and all kinds of good stuff. I don't hand them this though. I put it up there with... I got ledges up on the trees. Because I was told to keep the food off the ground. So I keep it off the ground. Even though that brought in... Skunks and possums even more so than what there already was and they are what keeps the rats away. So Better to have the animals that are nocturnal and only come around sometimes and in the winter they go away Because if rats are around they're always Always destructible and they never stop. They, they don't stop. Rats don't stop Squirrels only forage in the morning so, in the mornings, they come get an almond and a peanut. And they come get them right from my door. I would show you a squirrely feeding on here, but look at the clock. We're out of time. I, I can't upload longer videos now. Or I could tell you, just go click on another one of my videos and check out our squirrely feedings. And stick around. Because we love to have you. Sharing smiles is all we want to do. We want to share a good, quick, cute, squirrely distraction. But sometimes I get distracted in that. Because something will really bother me. And I'll feel the need to speak up on it. Because there's something that really needs to be said that other people are not saying. Like the fact of, you know, with the amendments, you know, and them going in and busting in and setting up quarters with their 
their cameras everywhere, parking orders, like they think they own the place and broadcasting it to everyone everywhere and all that shit. They think there's soldiers out in this special secret mission and they're doing shit like that. Like they're violating the Third Amendment. And then they're even giving you a little hint that they're doing it in asking other people if they know what the Third Amendment is. Please don't judge me for the fan. I hope it's not loud. Um, and what, what else? What, there was something else. <laughs> something else they were doing right in, in plain sight. I, I get it. I got a brain fart here and there. Hold up. Oh, I think I remembered what I was saying now. <coughs> With the Second Amendment, you know, um, like our roads and our rules for the road keep changing. And with all the cars we keep getting, all the more and more cars and, and like speed limits get reduced and shit, you know? Extra traffic lights get added. All kinds of stuff happens with the rules and, and conditions of the road. <coughs> and, um, our founding fathers, they, I don't think they ever intended on us being so outnumbered by guns due to corporate greed. So, I think, you know, it should go without saying that if the roads are the rules, the rules, the rules of the road are going to change with more and more cars we keep getting, then it should go without saying that rules should change in other aspects, too. Yeah, because last I checked, America had 120 guns for every 100 people, and the suicide rate has gone up. I'm sorry, YouTube, for using that word. I ain't monetized no how, so <clears throat> I hope it doesn't uh, age restrict or something. Don't do it, YouTube. Don't. People offer themselves to... Rates have gone up. Uh, the rates for teenage smoking have already dropped, like, significantly. So, for them to raise the age limit for that, it, it's just, it, it's, it's ridiculous. And in them doing that, they up the rates for people off of themselves. And it's like the government wants to keep us small. And people like Chile, believe it or not, are on their side. Wanting to numb, like the deep, the corrupt side. Chile is from the corrupt side, okay? And he is okay with someone walking around with a gun strapped to their chest numbing everybody up to the idea of a building being surrounded by weapons. And in this day and age, people need to be on guard for that fucking shit. Don't, don't put your guard down. A security guard, their job, by definition, is to guard the facility and keep it fucking secure. Now, how motherfucking secure would the people inside feel if you were to let your guard down and let these motherfuckers come in there and not stop and just start running them up with their goddamn cameras, right? I don't think the people inside would feel very secure at all in, in a situation like that. And I don't blame them. They run their fucking mouth and then they follow the people out to the car and they get their VIN number. And they do that to incite more fear in the person where, you know, they're just a lonely little person. They can't do nothing with that info. But the people that are funding Chile, they can. They, they will look into those license plate numbers to find out who people are. 
Judges are being threatened and shit, you guys. We need we need this shit to stop. Okay? Our founding fathers never intended on everybody having a camera in their hand at some point that could fucking zoom on in on shit like a motherfucking eagle. You know, and it's no. No no. Not everyone's a fucking journalist or reporter. Those people work hard to get that job. How dare you diminish their hard work? All the money they spent in taking the classes, all the courses they had to go through and shit and whatnot. How dare you diminish, diminish all the hard work they've done to get those jobs? And the even harder work that they have to do to keep them. How dare you diminish all that? A camera in your hand does not make you a reporter. Fake it till you make it don't work in the employment industry. You can't just put on a bur Burger King getup and go around like picking up cigarette butts in their drive through and then claim they owe you money and you work for them and shit. It don't work that way. It does it now. No, no it don't. So, a person with a camera ain't automatically a reporter. Any more than this makes me eligible to do cosmetics for somebody on a professional level, okay? You gotta have a license for shit like that. And like with cameras and weapons, you gotta have a permit. And you gotta have a license to use a car too. A car could be a weapon. People drive them into buildings all the time. Good distraction. That's something else they do. They go in there and they make their fucking distractions. See how long it takes the cops to respond. How long you can keep everyone distracted. You know the little side notes you're keeping, you guys. We know. Anywho, I'm really going to end this now. Oh my god. 22 minutes jabbering? Holy crap. I don't know if YouTube will let me upload all that. I might need to cut it in half. So, I'm out this piece. I don't want to jabber anymore. I have got a watermelon in there to cut or... Or ice cream cone to devour. I don't know which one I want to do first. So, comment below which one would you decide to use to, to eat first. Ice cream or watermelon and cantaloupe. Subscribe and stay tuned. And join the Squirrely Brigade. I know I, I've, I've got this squirrel. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we out this piece. Film real. Subscribe and stay tuned and all that jazz. Yeah.